All right, all right, all right. As we say here in the CNMI, half a day, Tiro, and welcome, NMC students. My name is Sam Crawford. I am the academic librarian and currently the acting director of library programs and services here at NMC. And I'm just going to be talking to you a little bit today about who we are broadly, what we offer, and how we can make your lives as students easier. So, without further ado, here we go. First thing I should mention is the library catalog. Now, I'll describe this as the library catalog sometimes and then refer to it other times as the library homepage. It's kind of the same thing because it's the same web address. So, important information number one is this URL, library.marianas.edu. And why don't I take a look at that right now and interrupt the flow of things just so you kind of get a glance at what this looks like. So. Here I am at the library homepage, library.marianas.edu. Um, I'm going to be continually working on this to make it look better, but for now, you kind of get the basic gist. Um, at the top, there is this search bar. You can search by keyword, title, author, subject, etc. And what you're searching here is the library catalog, meaning it's the entire physical collection that we have in NMC's library. So, um, it's pretty easy to navigate, but if you need help with it at all, you can always ask me, of course. Um, so the catalog is kind of up at the top, but then we have these other databases, the library databases that, to which we subscribe, that will give you additional information. So... Let's see here. There's Britannica Academic, two EBSCO databases, the first one being EBSCO for academic journals, academic articles, and the second one being for ebooks or electronic books. So, two from EBSCO, and then two more, which are open access databases. Open access just meaning free openly available to the public and no login information required. So they're ready to go, ready to use. Um, the first one for journals or articles being the Directory of Open Access Journals or DOAJ and the second one for ebooks being DOAB or the Directory of Open Access Books. So this is very important and you, can, you guys can kind of consider this as home base for any and all research uh, initiatives you undertake here at NMC. All right, back into this PowerPoint. So, that's the catalog, and that's the library homepage, library.marianas.edu. Now, the databases. I was just kind of showing you what those icons look like on that page, but I've split them up into kind of three basic categories, um, and this is the order, well, almost, in which they appear on that homepage. The first category is reference. So when I say reference, I'm talking about encyclopedias, dictionaries, information to kind of introduce you to a topic, a broad overview. Um, in olden days, even last semester, students had to go to the physical library and take an encyclopedia off the shelf and browse it that way to find information on their topic. That still works, and it's still fine, but those encyclopedias on the shelf aren't being updated. Okay, they were published several years ago, and so there's a lot of content that's just not in there at all, and there's a lot of content that has changed in those last several years. So we're very happy to have this brand new reference database called Britannica Academic. It is so much more than what our physical print copies of encyclopedias can offer, and I will talk about that in just a minute more. Um, Second category, though, of databases would be research articles. So after you kind of get a broad overview from reference, you want to go more in-depth now. You want to get a, a, you know, a more in-depth feel of what this topic or area you're exploring is really about. So you can search for specific articles on information through EBSCO, as well as through the Directory of Open Access Journals, or DOAJ, because all these articles are coming from what we call academic journals. Lastly, the last broad category of database is ebooks. So there's EBSCO ebooks and then the Directory of Open Access Books or DOAB. Now this database for reference, 
It's brand new. We just got access to it here at NMC, and I'm pretty excited about it because it has a lot of features that are so cool. All right, so we're talking about over 100,000 encyclopedic entries that are updated daily, maybe even hourly. Um, anything and everything under the sun that you could possibly want to learn about is probably in here in some format. It's going to offer you media, so images and videos to interact with that relate to your topic. You have access to a complete, comprehensive Merriam-Webster's Collegiate Dictionary here. So if you're browsing an article or an entry and you come across a word that oh you've heard before but you can't quite remember what it means, you just click on it and it will immediately give you the definition. Research articles. Um, so this is great because with EBSCO, you're going to be digging into finding research articles on your topic. But in this case, you're getting access to them from a second source. Um, these are provided by EBSCO, but in, in looking into Britannica for your initial research um, for reference, you can also explore, ah, what are some of the most recent, you know, articles or the scholarly findings that have been um, written about for my topic? There's also primary sources, so from a historical perspective, sometimes if you want to look at original documents from the time in which they were written, um, you can do that to support your research and kind of inform your studies. So if you're studying something about the Salem Witch Trials or um, the writing of the Declaration of Independence, there are all kinds of possible sources, i.e. primary sources, documents from these historical time periods that you can point to and read through and in some cases that could be an underlying foundation for what you write about next. You're also going to have access to news um, through the New York Times and the BBC so in many cases you might find news articles or pieces of news that relate to the topic that you're studying. Then there are other research tools like World Atlas and um, World Data Analyst, which allows you to search for two different geographic regions and compare them over a certain period of time. So this could be a comparison between the populations of two different places uh, over a certain amount of time, or a comparison of the internet access and broadband usage between two different geographic regions. So that's another cool tool um, that may help you as you go along. Now, that's reference. Here we are with research articles and the databases that get us to them. So the first one is EBSCO, and you'll look for this icon on our library homepage, but you're going to need a login for this. So, there's no username, but there is a password for EBSCO articles, and that password is CNMI. Okay, we can always remind you of this later, but you might want to write this down now so that you can dive right in, get a head start. That way, you guys already know how to do this by the time you start class. Okay, and the other option for exploring articles, at least initially, is DOAJ, or the Directory of Open Access Journals. Um, there's no login required for that, and it's pretty easy to navigate, but if you have any questions about it, feel free to get in touch. Databases for ebooks, okay? So complete texts, electronic books. Um, the first one is going to be EBSCO ebooks. So remember, we have EBSCO articles, which we just saw. Now we have EBSCO ebooks. So look for the distinction between these two icons on the library homepage. Now, EBSCO ebooks also requires login information. You have a username here, which is NMC student. And you also have a password, which is GoProa. So take note of those. An alternative source for finding ebooks is the Directory of Open Access Books, or DOAB, which, like DOAJ, requires no login information, and it's fast, easy to use, and it might find some additional ebooks for you. Other services we offer, uh, among them are instruction. So part of what I'm doing right now is considered instruction, kind of just showing you guys 
what the library does and who we are, where we are, and how to get in touch with us. Um, but we can offer instruction on other things too, like how to choose a how to choose a research topic or how to find particular resources, how to create citations, correct citations, or a bibliography, how to avoid plagiarism. Um, so anything and everything under the sun that has to do with your academic work, the library probably has something to say about it. And if you're curious, we are happy to answer. Uh, printing, copying, and scanning services are also things that we offer here in the library as well as what I'm calling an inter-island loan. So for those of you on Tinian and Rhoda, if you are searching our library catalog and you find a title that you think, oh, that looks really cool, or maybe, you know, I might want that, um, get in touch with us, either through phone or through email, because in many cases we will be able to mail you the book via priority mail and check it out to you that way. And so we would just ask that you, you know, through your instructional site mail it back to us um, before it's due. In many cases, we can kind of look through the material or the book for you and see if it has information that you're looking for and maybe scan it for you uh, and email, it, email a PDF of those scanned pages because maybe it's just a certain section or a chapter of a book and not the whole thing, in which case we could get you the material even faster. So... I know that was a lot of information, I'm sorry, I kind of rambled a little bit, but uh, lastly, I just want to give you my contact information um, so that you can get in touch with me in a variety of ways. My name is Sam, uh, you can give me a call at my desk, which you see it's Sam's desk, that's a direct line to my office, as well as our library circulation desk, or the main desk at the library. Um, you can call that number as well if I don't happen to answer. If you guys are the type that prefer kind of a written message, uh, you can always write me an email at samuel.crawford at marianas.edu. And then there's always the possibility of walking in if you're on campus. I love face-to-face -face interactions. I love meeting new people. So uh, if you guys have any questions or problems, even if they don't directly relate to the library, come see me. Uh, if you have a question about anything on campus or your experience with it, ask, because it'll help me learn more about who we are and what we do here as a college community. Uh, I think that's all I want to tell you for now. But again, welcome. We're glad you're here, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.